volume on this? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Okay. Yes. It wasn't a lot of volume when he was singing, so. Let me give you a little bit more volume. Okay. It wasn't much volume because it wasn't singing. <laughs> God is good. He gives us vacations. Gives us times to relax. That's good. Yep, that's good. And he gives us glasses that we can see our notes, see what we're starting. Tu nous donnes les vacances, tu nous donnes les lunettes, parce qu'on peut voir. Amen. Well, over the past few weeks, dans les dernières quelques semaines, we have been looking at where we are in Christ. We're in that bubble, that place with Him. With His grace and His love. Uh, way back in May when I preached the last time, I think it was. I looked at the verses in Romans 8. Verses 15 and 16. That we have not received a, a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Instead, you received God's spirit when he adopted you as his own children. We can now call him Abba Father. For his spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children. We can live in the place that we're at because we have been set free. God adopted us. Dieu qui est venu pour nous Gave us all the rights as his children. Il nous tous les droits comme ses enfants. To walk in liberty. De marcher dans la li la liberté. He is our Abba Father. Il est notre Abba Père. And over in verse 38 of the same chapter. Dans le verset 38, même chapitre. Can't see my Bible. No lights. Can somebody turn the lights on back there? Please. At least the one above me. There's not quite enough sunlight to see to see my Bible. I don't want to blame it on the glasses. That's good. Not that one. So there's the third or fourth one in the middle. No? Yep. There's for those who are watching online, there's one light that is right above the fan. And every time the blade goes by it, it's like a strobe light. It doesn't so, so much show out there, but on your notes and in your eyes up here, it, it's a not good placement. At least for that one. But verse 38 tells us that who have been set free, that nothing can ever separate us from the love of God. It doesn't matter where we go. Doesn't matter what we struggle. At times we stumble. But God the Father is always there to pick us up. He's never lost sight of us. We have been given that helmet of salvation. And just like any helmet, it's there to protect us. And the enemy would love to try to convince us that God has walked away. That God doesn't love us anymore. But on, even the enemy is trying to convince us. Can we ever be separated from the love of God? He died for us. He rose for us. And he loves us forever. There was a day that we made the choice to ask Jesus into our lives 
And that was the greatest decision we could make. Et c'est la plus grande décision qu'on peut avoir jamais faite. And at that day, he came into our lives. Et cette journée est venue dans notre vie. He drew us to him. C'est lui qui nous attire. Even when we didn't know him. Même quand on ne connaissait pas. He was calling us. Il nous, il nous appelait. And I thank God that that day we listened. Et moi, je remercie Dieu que la journée-là, nous avons répondu. And the day that we asked him into our lives. Et la journée qu'on avait demandé de venir dans notre vie. Ephesians 2, 4. Ephesians 2, chapitre 2, verset 4. Tells us that God who is rich in mercy and love. He loved us so much that even when we were in our sins. He gave us life. When he raised Christ from the dead. It is only by God's grace that you have been saved. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ. Parce qu'on était ressuscité d'entre des morts avec Christ. And on that day he seated us with him in heavenly realms. Et ce jour-là on était assis avec lui dans le lieu céleste. Because we are united in one with Christ. Parce qu'on est unis, nous sommes un à Christ. We are seated with God. On est vraiment assis avec Dieu. In the natural we're seated in our seats. Au naturel on est assis ici sur les bancs. But in reality, we are seated with God because He's right there with us. And we know according to Romans 8, 31 to 34, that Jesus is seated with God in the throne room. A couple years, in the last couple of years, I preached on where we were seated with God at that table. We were all there seated together in that table in front of the enemy. Because the enemy has been defeated. When we need a question, we have a question, we can ask. That's why we're seated with God. C'est pourquoi que nous sommes assis avec Dieu. That's why we've been set free. Que nous sommes libérés. Because when we realize where we are. Quand on réalise où que nous sommes. When we realize who we are. Quand on réalise, quand on réalise, réalise la personne que nous sommes. The enemy can't get a hold of us. L'ennemi, l'ennemi ne peut pas nous saisir. Because when he does. Parce que quand il essaie de l'enfer. Hebrews 4, 16 says. Hebrews 4, 16 nous dit. We can enter freely into the throne room of God. Nous pouvons rentrer avec confiance dans la chambre du trône avec Dieu. And receive His mercy and His grace. Et de recevoir sa miséricorde et sa grâce. When we feel like we're in trouble, quand nous sentons qu'on est dans une trouble, we can turn to Him. Nous pouvons nous pouvons tourner vers lui. Because He's right there with us. Parce qu'il est là avec nous. In this new home that we're living. Dans cette nouvelle maison où ce qu'on demeure. God is always there. Dieu est toujours là. The enemy tries to block us from realizing. L'ennemi va essayer de nous empêcher de réaliser. Because he knows that when we realize where we are. Parce qu'il sait qu'un quand on réalise où que nous sommes. And that we are living in this place of freedom. Nous vivons dans cette place de la liberté. We will receive the victory. Nous allons recevoir la victoire. He can't convince us that we're left alone when we realize our victory. Il ne pouvons pas nous convaincre qu'on est tout seul quand on réalise que nous avons déjà la victoire. The question has been going through my mind. La question a rentré dans mes pensées souvent. How can I avoid the pitfall of feeling like I'm alone? Comment que, que, comment que je peux euh, éviter euh, la pensée que je suis tout seul? Or that God is not with me. Because that's what the enemy wants us to think. How can I walk day by day in God's victory? How can I do his plan when I'm struggling? What a great question. I don't have the answer. Well, kind of. The answer is turn to him. La réponse est de tourner vers lui. Romans 10, 17 says. Romains 10, 17 nous dit. That faith comes from hearing. Que la foi vient quand nous, quand nous allons attendre. And that is hearing the good news about Christ. Quand nous écoutons la bonne nouvelle de Christ. How do I answer the question of not feeling alone? Comment que je vais répondre à la question quand je pense que je suis seul? 
The answer to that question is simple. La, la réponse est simple. It's the only answer I can think of, and that's to listen. C'est la seule manière que je peux penser, c'est d'écouter. Take time to practice listening for the voice of God. Prenez le temps d'écouter la voix de Dieu. And what's funny is, as I've been thinking about listening, et la chose drôle que je pense de le sujet d'écouter, the Lord is put things in front of me for me to hear. Le Seigneur a placé des choses en, en devant moi que je puisse écou écouter. One day I was listening to Tanya listen to something on YouTube une or fois, on podcast. Une fois j'ai écouté un affaire sur podcast que Tanya l'avait mis. And all I could think about was that's listening to God. And he was talking about the Holy Spirit. And then as I do on Sundays, I was listening to a, a preaching. And as he was preaching his message, the idea for today's message came. Although he wasn't talking so much about listening, he was giving us a challenge to how to listen. And what's funny is to say we need to listen in this age of Facebook, et dans ce temps-ci, dans, dans ce temps de, de Facebook, YouTube, de YouTube, you can go on Google and type in what is prayer. Allez sur Google puis ta, ta, de taper c'est quoi la prière. And you'll get 33 verses on prayer. Puis tu peux recevoir 33 versets dans la prière sur la prière. I think most of us on our phones, web phones, have the Bible app. La plupart de nous dans notre euh, nos téléphones, nous avons l'application pour le, pour la Bible. And I don't want to count how many Bibles are in my home. But am I really listening? Or is it good background? While I'm doing something else. I remember when I was working evenings at the school. I would be cleaning my classes. And in the background, I'd be listening to YouTube to songs. And it's funny, they never really had much of an impact. Because they were background. I wasn't really listening. But the same songs, when I put them, maybe I'd start to sing with them. Peut-être quand je commence à chanter avec eux. When I brought them to the front, quand je les amenais avant moi, the words would have a greater impact to my spirit. Les paroles avaient un plus grand impact sur mon esprit. Because I was listening to what they were saying. Parce que je l'écoutais comme faux. Maybe it's just me. It could be just me that puts it in the background at times. I don't know. Peut-être c'est seulement moi, mais je pense pas. But when I look at John 10, mais quand je regarde, je regarde dans le livre de Jean 10. And this is where we're going to look today, John 10, verse 26 to 30. Jean 10, 26 à 30. And Jesus has been uh, asked about praying. Jésus, il avait demandé de poser la question de Jésus, comment prier. He replied, I have already told you and don't you believe me. Je l'avais déjà dit, puis tu me croiras pas. The proof is the work I do in my Father's name. La preuve, c'est l'œuvre que je fais dans le nom de mon Père. But you don't believe me because you are not my sheep. Mais vous, vous n'êtes pas capable de, de, de croire en moi parce que vous n'êtes pas mes brebis. My sheep listen to my voice. Mes brebis écoutent ma voix. I know them and they follow me. Je les connais et ils me suivent. I give them eternal life. Je les donne la vie éternelle. They will never perish. Perish. Ils ne peuvent pas périr. No one can snatch, snatch them away from me. Il n'y a personne qui peut les arracher de ma main. His sheep know his voice. Ses brebis connaissent sa voix. And they listen. Et il les écoute. That's where I want to be. Et c'est là que je veux être. I want to be the place where I'm listening for His voice. D'être dans la place où je suis capable d'écouter sa voix. Back in the same chapter, verse three. Dans le même chapitre, verse trois. Jesus talking about the good shepherd. Jésus veut parler du bon berger. Says the gatekeeper opens the gate for him. C'est lui qui garde la porte ouvre la porte pour lui. And the sheep recognize his voice. Et les brebis reconnaît reconnaissent sa voix. They come to him. Ils sont venus à lui. He calls his own sheep by name. Il les appelle ses propres brebis par leur propre nom. And leads them out. Et les dirige dehors. After he has gathered his own flock. Comme après qu'il avait qu'il avait ramené tous ses troupeaux. He, uh, he walks ahead of them. They follow him because they know his voice. 
They will not follow a stranger because they don't recognize the voice. That's where I want to be. I want to be at a place where I know his voice. Where I can hear because I'm listening. We think in order to listen, we need just to read our Bible and to pray every day. As kids, we used to sing that song, read your Bible, pray every day. And you'll grow, grow, grow. And it's true. As we get the word into us, we will grow, grow, grow. As we put him first, we will delight in his word. Life happens. We have families. We have work. We have activities. And we wonder how Psalm 1 could say that I delight in his word day and night. Dans sa parole, jour et nuit. And we think I really don't have that much time to go day and night. As much as we want to. Même si on veut. And then the enemy comes and says, you're not giving enough time to God. But even if you don't become a monk. And sit on top of a post all day long. And just think about God. Even if you don't do that. We can de delight in God all day long. The thing that we need to realize. Is in 1 Corinthians 3, 16. Don't you realize that all of you together are the temple of God? And that the Spirit of God lives in you. And in the last part of verse 17 says, For God's temple is holy. And you are the temple. Et vous êtes le temple. When we realize that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Quand on réalise que nous sommes le temple du Saint Esprit. The Holy Spirit lives in us. Le Saint Esprit demeure en nous. It doesn't just live with us when we're praying. Ça ne demeure pas en nous quand nous sommes en train de prier seulement. Not just when we're reading. Dans ou quand nous sommes en train de lire. But He lives within us 24/7. Mais il demeure en nous 24 heures sept jours de la semaine. He's reminding us 24-7 of how we're to live. How to walk. How to talk. We can delight in Him all day long. Even when we're not, don't even realize it. For me, I can be cleaning up a mess at the school. And all of a sudden, I just think, Lord, thank you for this job. As I was cleaning up, I wasn't thinking about God. But the Spirit who lives in me brought it out of me as I delighted in Him. 2 Corinthians 6, verse 16. And what union can there be between God's temple and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will live in them. I, I will walk among them. I will be their God. And they will be my people. That's us. We are his people. Nous sommes le peuple de Dieu. He lives in us. Il demeure en nous. He walks with us. Il marche avec nous. He is our God. Il est notre Dieu. And we are his people. Et nous sommes son peuple. The Holy Spirit in us teaches us. Le Saint -Esprit en nous, 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 nous enseigne. He guides us. Il nous guide. And he reveals God's love to us. Et il va révéler le Dieu, l'amour de Dieu en nous, ou vers nous. In our weaknesses, he is strong. Dans nos faiblesses, il est fort. 
He reveals to us how to pray. Il, il, il à nous When we allow ourselves to listen. Matthew 6, 6. Matthew 6, verse 6. This is just before the, uh, Jesus tells the disciples that our prayer, our, our Father who art in heaven, how he teaches them that prayer. He said, but when you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you, and pray to your Father in private. There, your Father who sees everything will reward you. For me, this is where we need to start every day. Take time to find a secret place to be with Him. If you're like me, you'll have to put your iPad aside. If not, even as I, just after I read a verse, I'll be looking at something else. There may be other distractions we have to set aside. But instead, take our Bible. Take paper and a pen. And expect to hear from God as you set time aside with Him. Make it a one-on-one -on -one place. Even when you don't feel like God is there. Know you're there with Him. I heard the pastor say, even prepare what you're going to pray. Go in and take it seriously. May have peace, says, Lord, I'm going to thank you for my job. I'm going to pray for a promotion. I'm going to pray for my kids and grandkids. But that time is set aside just for you and God. And when I was thinking about preparing the time, I thought about dating. Dating. Going on a date. I don't know what's the French. When you're going, and for us, to when, when we were at Bible school, it was long distance dating. One person was here, one person was in New Hampshire. And we're writing letters. Back and forth. Or on the phone once a week or whatever time you put aside. When you wrote the letter, you prepared what you wanted to say. When you got on the phone and you were limited time, you knew what you wanted to say. And we prepare to go one on one with the Lord. And we prepare what we want to say to Him. Even when we feel like He's so far away. We have his love letter written to us. This letter of the Bible was written to me. We each can say that, that it was written to me. Because it's personal. It's in this letter that's written to us that we find out who he is. That's when we draw near to him. In a secret place with God, we take time to pray. We get time to say, Lord, I want to be with you. We take time to let God know how we feel. And you know, you don't always feel good. You don't always feel even like being there. 
And I'll be, when it comes to the secret place of God, I am nowhere near perfect with that. I think there's been times I've gotten and like, I don't even want to be here. Maybe you're tired. You just don't want to get up in the morning. Or get that place whatever day. But you realize when you're in a relationship with God, He already knows. You can't hide it from Him. Let's let Him know how we feel. If you're praying for your kids, tell Him, Lord, I don't know how this is going. I'm feeling frustrated. But I know that you are my peace. And I know that you're here with me. And I love you. And I think that's the place we always were praying. Never forget to tell him how much you love him. I don't know if there's anybody here who would rather someone not tell them that they like them or love them. Grandkids come up. Hey, bye. They could rather the kids come up and say, I love you. Let you know how important you are to them. That makes people's day, right? And I think God's the same way. He wants to hear our every need. But he also wants to know that we love him. And that he is there with him. In the secret place, we learn to praise God. As we draw near to God, write down the things that He reveals to you. Think about them. Let them get in your head. Because I know as He reveals things to each of us, in those revelations is His love. And as we think about them, we realize how much He loves us. It's in that secret place that we draw near to God. As we listen, we learn what God really thinks about us. We'll go there for time, but 1 Peter 2, 9 to 12. It tells us that he's, we are chosen people. We are royal priests. We are God's own possession. That makes me feel important. I've been chosen by God. I am His. Because I'm His, He's mine. That's love. Ephesians 2.10 says, we are God's masterpiece. Nous sommes le chef de Dieu. We have been created new in Christ Jesus. On était créé, on était créé nouveau en Jésus Christ. He made me. C'est lui qui m'a créé. He already made me perfect in his own eyes. C'est lui qui m'a créé parfait dans ses yeux. You ever hear the story of the, there was a, a gentleman who passed away. Il y avait un monsieur qui, qui est décédé. And he was known for all of the masterpieces he owned or paintings. The arts and the sculptures were worth millions. And they were having an auction. And hundreds came to this auction. With hopes of getting one piece of the masterpiece that he owned. And his lawyer got up first thing. And he said, I have, we want to start with the first piece according to his instructions and his will. And amongst all the Rembrandts and all the other great artists. Rembrandt 
There was this one painting that he himself had drawn. Il y avait une peinture que lui-même qui avait il avait peinturé. And it was of his son. C'est la, la photo de son son fils. And they said we're going to start with this one. On va commencer avec sa photo. And they said how much do I have to bid? Combien combien est-ce que vous allez prêt me donner? And everybody looked at each other like why? Tout le monde regardait un l'autre. And some guy said, "I'll give fifty dollars." Un gars qui dit, "Je donnerai, je donne cinq cinquante dollars." And everybody chuckled. Et tout le monde ria. And his butler was there. Et son son chef était là. And knew that that was his son. Et il savait que c'était son fils. He said, "I'll give a hundred dollars." Et l'autre dit, "Je donnerai cent dollars." And everybody chuckled, like, "Why would he do that?" Tout le monde ria. What a waste. Pensait qu'il était un fou quelle perte. And the lawyer said, "If I have other bids, I sell it for a hundred dollars." And he hit the gavel down and said, "It's over. It's sold." Il a frappé le bâton puis il dit, "C'est vendu." And his next words were, "Et ses prochaines paroles étaient, the auction is now closed." Maintenant l'enquête est fermée. And everybody looked around. What do you mean? What about all of these masterpieces? Puis tout le monde dit, "Gardé puis qu'est-ce qu'on va faire avec toutes les les autres photos des arts que vous avez?" And he said, "Whoever bought this painting, received everything else. There was a day when you and I, the Master, created us. And His Son paid the price for you and for I. And we have everything that belongs to Him. We are God's children, filled with mercy. In the secret place, we hear God's heart for the world. Dans la place secrète, nous écoutons le cœur de Dieu pour le monde. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Dieu a tant aimé le monde qu'il a donné son Fils unique. That's His heart for the world. Ça c'est son cœur envers le monde. He loves every man and woman. Il aime chaque personne. As God's temple, comme le temple de Dieu, His chosen people, son son peuple choisi. We've been given the privilege. To walk with him. À nous a été donné le privilège de marcher avec lui. And to spread the good news wherever we go. Et partager la bonne nouvelle de partout où ce qu'on va aller. Psalm 91 says, "In the secret place, we receive His protection." Dans le Psalm 91, il dit, dans la place secrète, on reçoit sa protection. In the secret place, we find safety. Dans la place secrète, on trouve la sécurité. We find direction. On trouve la direction. And most of all, we find love. Et en plus, on trouve l'amour. As we grow in the secret place. Quand nous sommes en train de grandir dans cette place secrète. Instead of asking. À place de demander, how can I? How is it possible to meditate day and night? Comment est-ce que c'est possible de méditer jour et nuit? The question changes. La question change. Why should I ever stop being with him? Pourquoi est-ce que je dois change? Je, je dois arrêter de prendre du temps avec lui? When life is busiest, quand notre vie est le plus occupée, let's take time to be with God. Nous prenons le temps de être avec Dieu. There is no time limit. Il y a aucun limite de temps. If all you spend is five minutes, si, si le seul temps que tu prends avec lui c'est cinq minutes, I challenge you to take five minutes. Moi je 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 lance un défi de prendre cinq minutes. And as you get continue, let it watch it grow. Et de laisser le temps euh, grandir. That you want to take more and more time. Que tu veux avoir un désir de prendre plus en plus du temps. I go back to Facebook when we were there. Quand je quand on avait quand on est allé à, à l'école biblique. When you watch the couples who were together with all the rules that we were under, quand on regardait tous les 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 couples qui étaient ensemble avec tous les règles des règlements qu'on suivait, time that we could spend together was limited. Que le temps qu'on peut rester qu'on aille ensemble c'était vraiment limité. But it was funny to see how often when the bell rang between classes, puis on il c'était des 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 bons de voir quand le, la cloche a sonné entre les classes. We had about five minutes. On avait à peu près cinq minutes. How often you went out the door and there were the couples. Even if they were in the same class. Alors quand tu sortais de la porte, même qui n'étaient pas dans la même classe, les couples étaient ensemble. Maybe one of them didn't even have classes, but they were there. Et peut-être qu'il y avait même pas une classe cette fois, mais il était là. Because they wanted to spend time together. Parce qu'ils voulaient de prendre le temps ensemble. And that's like us when it comes to the Father. Qu'est-ce comme nous quand quand nous sommes avec le Père? As we get into that one-on-one -on -one place with Him. Quand nous sommes dans cette place, un. We're going to want to spend more and more time with him. Where life was busy, quand la vie était occupée, it will feel less busy. Alors on va commencer à penser qu'on est moins occupé. Because he's guiding our steps. Parce que c'est lui qui dirige nos pas. 
Praise will come out where we are. De louange va sortir de là où que nous sommes. His word will flow out of us. Sa parole va sortir de nous. Most of us have kids. Have you ever heard your kids say something that you know you said? For vous autres qui veulent des enfants, des on écoute des enfants qui disent la même chose qu'on l'avait dit. Or you've heard yourself say something that your parents have said. Oh, vous les vous écoutez même votre voix qui répète une chose que tes parents l'avaient dit. That's going to happen to us. Alors va arriver avec nous. We're going to say the things that the Father has already said to us. Nous allons dire les choses que le Père nous dit. The words will come out of us. Les paroles vont sortir de nous. This week. Cette semaine. Let's take time to continue in our secret place. En prenant le temps de 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 rester dans cette place secrète. And finding out how much He loves us. Et de trouver comment il nous aime. Amen. Amen. Break. Break. Go ahead. Lord, we thank you for time we can spend with you. Here in this place, we spend it together as a family. And we thank you for it. Lord, help us to, to, to remind ourselves to take time to be with you. If it's only five minutes or ten minutes at the start of the day, let our hearts be open to listen for your voice. To know that you are with us. You're walking beside us. And your love is being revealed through us. And we thank you for it, Lord. Nous te remercions, Seigneur. And we give you the praise and the glory. Donnez la gloire et la louange. In Jesus' name. Au nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen.